Uh, this should take. Uh. Oh sh! But I think we're about. Oh, it's also burned. What the hell? Hello. Ah! Hello everyone, my name is Lucael and welcome back to Outer Wilds. I truly hope you guys are doing well, I hope you had a nice week. So a quick recap, in the previous episode we found these hidden reels on the stranger that taught us how to find the combinations in the dream, because they are very well hidden by these uh, owl aliens. And so I really think now all that's left is really diving into the dream and finding these combinations at last so that we can open the vault. That being said, I feel like I'm very close to the end now, so I'm not really sure whether this is going to be the last episode or not. This is always the tricky part when you're doing like a blind let's play of a game that you haven't played before, is near the end you don't really know, like do I have two more hours, three, four, like I don't really know. This might be the last episode, this might be like the second to last, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to record all the way until the end. And then, depending on how long it takes, I'm either gonna cut it in two episodes or I'm gonna just have like one long final episode, so. Also, I have the perfect shirt for this game right now. Ya yeah, boy got himself a nice Outer Wilds shirt. Just in time for the finale. Very happy about that. So again, as usual, all too familiar feeling. I'm really excited and nervous about this episode because if this is the end this is going to be really bittersweet because i really enjoyed this playthrough and i really enjoyed sharing it with you guys so but you know as we've learned through the main game all good things must come to an end so so grab yourself a little snack sit down comfortably and let's jump right back in i'm gonna miss this title screen music oh let's get ready to wake up Alright, so, back to the stranger we go. Uh, a lot of you mentioned in the comments of the previous episode how I could use the breach in the ship in order to reach the canyon quickly, which, which is a great point. I totally forgot about that, like I didn't think to use it as a shortcut, but it would totally work as such. However, I'm not gonna go there right away. Like, the first place I wanna go is in that little, like, river area, because that looked like the easiest one to navigate. Because uh, we ran into that that little owl boy, and I kind of let him capture me on purpose, because I, I wanted to see what would happen. But if we avoid him, and if I had continued following him down that tunnel, I think maybe he would have led us, like, where we need to go. I think that first one should be pretty easy, like it should be just following that tunnel and then... I don't know, maybe once we're in that creepy house with the creepy music it gets really difficult, but... Uh, all that we've learned about that one is we need to walk into the fireplace. So like, I don't know if it's fake fire or like magic fire or... We just have to walk really quickly so it doesn't hurt us too much. I'm not really sure. But that's the first one I'm gonna tackle, and it's also the closest one to the entrance, so, you know. So that makes sense. I wonder if by the end we'll, we'll learn of some way to decipher their... their language, but I don't think so, unfortunately. That thing is really, like, just instant. It's so interesting. I also still don't really know why one of the, if you remember, one of these, like, I guess beds, we could call them, one of these beds is missing, is like missing someone in uh, one of the other locations. I wonder why that is. Also, someone mentioned if you just meditate here instead of like actually dozing off, it does the, it works just the same because you're technically sleeping. I'm not going to test it because I don't want to. Because I don't want to accidentally like go back to the beginning of the cycle, but I believe you. Alright, so back here with like this, this creepy breathing all around me, which I'm really not a fan of. Alright, let me remember the 
fastest way. So we're looking for a way to go to that house. With the creepy music. My theory was like they're having movie night. <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate, but we'll see. Uh, and I think in order to reach the house, we need to go on the other side. Basically, I just need to find that guy again and like follow him in the tunnel. But I, I just need to remember how I got there. Uh, there was like a bridge. Yeah, this bridge. But first I need to go up there so I can light this thing. And uh, I need to do this as quickly as possible. Because uh, this area gets flooded very quickly in the real world. Once I know the path for sure, it's going to be a lot faster. But it's also like way less scary now that I know like what these guys are about. I'm not really scared of them anymore. I think they're kind of cute, to be honest. <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean they're not going to startle me in this video. I'm sure they will, but... Alright, here's the bridge. Ugh, that really wasn't that high. I don't want that to hurt me. Is that already the water? Did the dam already break? It feels really early. Okay, so there's a guy on the other side there. Okay, from here, I think I go across here. And then this is around where I saw this guy, I think. Across this bridge, maybe? Yeah, I think he was around here. Sorry, I know it's like completely dark, which is not very fun to watch. Oh, here he comes. Okay, I just need to not get spotted by this guy. Is there more than one? Oh, I think there might be more than one. It did mention the thing, a procession of lights. Uh, no, I think it's just... I think it's just the one. Okay, so let's follow this guy. Oh no, there is more than one. Shit. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna follow this one and then we'll hide on the other side. Oh shit, he might spot me though. Oh, I'm gonna get sandwiched between two. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna risk it and follow this one. And let's hope he doesn't turn around. Because I'm very close. Like, how does he not hear me? <laughs> this is very stressful. Because like if he turns around, I am fucked and I know there's one behind me. Yep. Thankfully, their lamp doesn't really, like, reach all that far. Ugh, we can see, like, the creepy shadow of his hand. Why do you guys have this music playing here? I guess it's just, like, the music they like, but... Right, I'm just risking it, I'm just gonna follow him. And just hope he doesn't turn around. Okay, he went right. Should I go left? Or should I just keep following him? Let's just follow him and see where he goes. That way we'll know what to expect. Okay, he's going inside. There's lights here, so though, so I gotta be careful. Okay, he's going upstairs. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. They're all here. Hi. Um... Oh, they're not... Ah! <gasps> what the fuck are you supposed to do here? There, There's a bunch of them. And they're guarding the fireplace. Okay. Oh man, like, I, I knew I couldn't back out because there was one behind me. How? I mean... This one kind of grabbed me, but the other ones were just kind of staring at me. Like, would they have let me go if I just, like, went for it? 
I don't think I'm gonna have time if I try again. Like, the dam's probably about to break. That was so weird. They just kinda were staring at me. Unless there's like a secret, like another passage somewhere. I didn't try going to the left. Maybe that's what I need to do. But the fireplace was there. Like, that was the place I needed to go and they're all there, so... I did not expect just like a bunch of them in a room like that. I thought maybe there was gonna be like one or two. And there's still more going inside, like they're not even all there yet. And I can't really wait to see what happens later because like the dam's gonna break and this place gets flooded, so... I really only have the beginning. Let's follow this light. Are you the last one? He might be the last one. I think it's pretty interesting how they don't... They don't hear you. Because, like, they don't make any sound when walking. I don't hear them, but I hear my own footsteps. I guess they don't hear me. I don't think I'm going to have time to try anything. Because the dam's about to break, but... I will try and go on the left to see if there's, like, a side door or something. Maybe I can sneak behind them. This guy might be the last one. There doesn't seem to be anyone behind me. It is creepy how... There's only the shadow of their hand. Yeah, he, I think this guy's the last one. Why are you guys playing this weird music? There is like a door on the left, I think. Ah, the dam. Nope, no door. Oh shit. Oh! It... It makes them disappear! Holy shit! Oh, that's new information! That guy in front of me vanished. Because their flame gets... So they are... Still alive! Like, I just witnessed... Them actually... Dying? Because, like, they're fucking corpses. They can't possibly still be alive. Could it be that somehow, because, like, their mind is in the dream, it, it's allowed them to, to just barely survive? Like, this whole time? And this is the moment where their flames gets... Their flames get extinguished and they're actually gone, gone, for real? That's, like, so sad and I don't think like we can't really stop it either huh see if I could just come back to this place my reasoning is well now if I come back to this place they won't be there to stop me but I don't think I can because the rafts in the dream only take you in one direction you can't, like, take them to the left, so I don't think I can come back to this place. Although, I haven't tried just staying on the raft, like, until the very end. So, what if it loops? What if it loops and then takes me back to this place? Maybe? I don't think it's likely to be the case, but I guess we could try it. Let's just see, like, what's at the very end. I think it probably takes you to the subterranean lake. Like, the place where the vault is. Because I think that's probably, like, the last area you're supposed to visit once you have, like, all the... Ow. There's just no way to avoid this rock. Uh... Yeah, the last place you're supposed to visit once you have all the combinations. Wow, so they die from the dam breaking. That's just, like, sad. It just makes me feel bad. So, like, even though they look... Because, like, they don't even have eyes anymore. Or is it that they're actually still alive? Like, their eyes are just closed and they're, like, so emaciated from being in here this whole time? <laughs> this guy's giving us the old... Uh... <laughs> and this... This bed is empty. 
why would only one bed be empty? You know, this whole time I've theorized that there's might be some of them still alive, but if they really are all in this place, and then there's the one empty bed, there might still be one of them somewhere still alive, but how could he have survived this whole time? Because, like, it, it can't be a Solonum situation. This one would be dead from... If he's not in the dream, then he would have died, so... Maybe this is the one that was in that second experiment, the one that exploded, and so he's dead, and that's why he's not here to fill... Ah, shit. Uh, he's not here to fill his seat. Interesting. Okay, this place is the well. Uh, so to get a raft here, I need to... I haven't actually encountered any of the aliens here. Like, I've heard a lot of creepy sounds. And I'm supposed to be going down there, but I haven't actually run into... I really haven't explored this place at all, though. I can see multiple elevators. I think I just saw someone walking up there, actually. Did you see that? And we hear footsteps up in this house. So it might be they're just like all up there. We're probably going to trigger something that's going to cause them to come down. Because they're not walking around for now. Fear is such a interesting thing because I was so scared and now that I kind of know what the deal is I'm really not scared at all anymore <laughs> it's so weird so interesting how fear works isn't it I need a raft and I want to see what is at the very end if you just keep going on this raft I just wish I could go backwards. I wish I could go over there back to the house because now they're all gone. I could explore like freely. But uh, since we can't go backwards, let's just go forward. This takes you to a dark tunnel, which really is the disguised loading screen. And then there's the lodge up there. And this place uh, has multiple of them inside, so very hard to explore. A bunch of you mentioned, and it's the comment I got the most on the previous video, is like, everyone was saying, why did you turn off all the lights before exploring the house? And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't like thinking of a strategy to explore. Like I just saw in the reel that I'm supposed to turn off the lights in order to open the doors. So I went inside. Honestly, I hadn't even really made the connection that they only walk around after you turn off the lights, and I don't still don't really know if that's the case. I guess it is. So I guess the idea is you're supposed to leave the lights on, explore the house so that you know the layout, and then turn off the lights and explore it. But I wasn't really thinking about that. Like it was also it was also new to me that all I could think of was just like I just gotta explore, you know? So this is the container for the vault, however the vault is not inside. Someone came in here and moved it. Moved it to the subterranean lake, which I'm guessing is where I'm headed right now. Unless it loops around and takes me back to the house, which would be really nice. I believe we're at the end. It did take me back to the beginning, so I could go... I could go inside. So I just need to take the raft, come here, now they're gonna be gone, and then I can go through the fireplace. Okay, um... I mean, will they be gone though? I guess there could still be some of them, because like, if I can take the raft, some of them in the dream could also be taking the raft and going there. There's still a lot we don't understand, namely, I don't know why the dam breaks, why the ship moves by itself. Basically, there's a lot more we don't know than things we know, <laughs> even at this point. But it's okay. Having stuff we don't know is the fun part. 
is what we are here for. And it's gonna make understanding these mysteries all the more satisfying. Like I said last time, I really just hope there's some kind of... I wish there was some kind of good ending that we can achieve with these people where we can like actually communicate with them, let them know we're not a threat, let them know like... You know, just hear their stories, share our understanding of the eye, just anything like that. But I don't think it's in the cards because the universe is gonna end no matter what we do. I think these people are beyond helping, unfortunately. Especially since now I know that they all like disappear because of the dam breaking. I, I don't think we can help them, unfortunately. I could go and explore the other places, but if you know me by now, you know I'm very methodical, so I kind of want to focus on one place at a time, so instead I'm gonna doze off and wait for the dam to break, and then we'll go in the house. Oh, yes, see? I saw someone moving up there. Yep, there's one too. Okay, so yeah, there's... There's a bunch of them. Actually, I wonder if that sound I heard was him going through the... See, there's one right there. I wonder if the sound I heard was him going through the the hand thing. I don't know yet if they can go through, but I would assume they can. Alright, now we have our way to the raft, so let me wake up. Oh, wait. No, even more than that, I can just go there right now, because I'll see them vanish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't even need to wait until the dam breaks before going there. I can just go right now, and then I'll see them vanish right in front of my eyes. Actually, it's perfect because it gives me time to take the raft there. By the time I get there, the dam's probably going to break. Oh, actually... I saw one of them disappear, but that doesn't mean they're all gonna disappear, because what if some of them are there that are sleeping in the other locations that don't get flooded? So it might not actually empty the place. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> might not be as easy as I think. But I uh, will try. I saw at least one of them vanish, so who knows. I love how this raft is on, is on such a set path. Like it just knows exactly where to go. You can't control it at all. Alright, is this where I think it is? Is this the first area? Or is this like a whole new area? It sure looks like the beginning. Yeah, it is. Oh no, the door's closed because I didn't open it on the other side. Shit. Uh, can I take the raft? Is there like anywhere else I can... I can land? Oh no, I think I messed up. I messed up because I didn't go there to open the door. Damn it, I'm gonna have to restart. Oh, wait, I haven't... Wait, where is this? I haven't been in this house. How can I... <gasps> Shit. How can I go there? I don't know how to go in this house. Okay, uh... I need to restart this from the beginning, but this time I need to go in, open that door, then go around. Oh, the meditating thing does... <laughs> it does work. Oops. I was going too fast. Alright, back in the dream. Let's try this again. I just need to open the way to that tunnel. And then I should be good. 
very simple. I just need to do this. All right, now I should be good. Get this the sound of the panels opening. I said as much in a comment on the previous video, but I think it's really interesting how the main game it's kind of all about like figuring out what to do based on text. Because you find all these logs, you find like dialogue, you find like recordings. Uh, it's kind of all text. And then the DLC is kind of all images. It's all the reels, it's all like just what you see around you. Like little paintings like that. It's pretty interesting. It really gives the DLC like a different feel than the main game, which is really nice. Because you don't want to just be redoing the same kind of thing, you know? I should heal myself. I don't know how much healing you get from like one nice marshmallow. <gasps> Full healing from one marshmallow. These marshmallows are very potent. Alright, uh. Alright, now we just need to take the raft, go through that tunnel. I need to figure out how to go in that burnt house too. It didn't have any like landing pad like this, so I don't know. So I don't know what this sound is, this like... I just hope my theory is correct. All right, here we go. Now, unless I forgot something, unless like the tunnel resets, which would be some bullshit, I should be good. This should be the one. I just need to not get caught because if I get caught, I need to take the raft back and like all, come all the way back here. All right, here we are. The tunnel should be open. Yes. All right, now we just need to go on the other side. From here. Then... I think maybe you just need to follow the lamp, the candles. Could it be that simple? Like, is it as simple as just looking around, looking for a candle and then just going there? I'm just now realizing, I think that might be the case. <laughs> might just be a case of follow the candles and they'll tell you where to go. Oh, here comes the dam breaking. Oh, there, even put a little step here so that you don't break your legs going down. Okay, I need to... Wait, so they will disappear, right? Let's see if we see it happen. Yep. Oh, I think they're all gone, so I think my theory was correct. I think they're all gonna be gone this time. Which means... We should be good, we should be good. Okay, the world kinda tilted a little bit, but... We're still here. Alright, alright. Why is there a hand here? Why would you need to come on this side? Wait, could I have... Oh, it's a shortcut. I think from there you can grab this one. Okay, but there's no way to know this until you've been here already. Okay, okay. Uh, that's good to know. So there's a shortcut from the other side. Such a creepy effect. Gives me like, ooh. Gives me chills every time. Alright, so now I just need to find that tunnel without following one of them. Oh, here it is. Alright, let's just hope none of them are there. It's like, if one of them was not sitting in that room that got flooded, this place could still have someone in there. Let's 
find out. Hello? It is empty. My theory was correct. Aha! And it's fake fucking fire. Okay, uh, let's see what we find. Hopefully there's none of them down there. Uh, this should take... Ugh. Oh, look at all the reels! What's with this music, man? I thought it was gonna be like, just chill, grab the combination, and that's it. Why are you making this music play? Where even is this? I guess it's just like underground. Look at all these reels. Insert artifact. Oh, it allows us to watch a reel. Okay, okay. Uh, let me get the combination first, because that's kind of like the main thing I'm here for. But I think we're about... Oh, it's also burned! What the hell? Okay, um... It shows all these reels, but I don't think you can actually watch these. They're just there for decoration. But we will get the answer to at least some of these things. Okay, we get planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna give us... Uh, that's why they scanned it. They scanned them to have them be intact in the dream. Alright, let give me the answer to my questions. Now we're gonna get to see them without the burned... So, signal... The question with this reel is how they built the stranger. This is the parts that were burned. And I, my theory is they took a piece of their planet. Sees the eye. He's like, holy shit guys, come over here. We have to go there. So they cut all the trees. Oh, they... Oh my god, they... Destroyed their own planet. To build this thing, they sacrificed everything. Even the water is gone, the animals. Oh, now... Wow, holy shit. That's terrible! That's horrible! Oh, now I understand why they were so fucking devastated, but like, why would you... I mean, I get they wanted to get to the eye, but why would you sacrifice everything? Like, why wouldn't you send like a couple of you just to scout the place, you know, first? And then maybe come back and get everyone else? I guess because they needed like all the resources they had just to build a station? Like, come on, you could have built, like, a little shuttle, just send a few people, you didn't have to... Like... Look at that, they devastated the entire planet. That's horrible. Just to build a station. Man. Holy shit. Why would you, why would you guys do this? But then... How am I gonna get the... How am I gonna get the combination if it's not here? What reel is this? This is a new one. I haven't seen this one anywhere. Something about the dream of their planet? Oh, I was right. It's kind of like a matrix. It's a virtual world. It is literally just a loading between areas. Is that what it means? It's like loading a new part? Yeah, yeah. So, it's not just a gameplay loading between the, these areas. It's literally a loading in the dream. So, okay, it's not really a dream. It's technology. They built a virtual world.
Okay, so if you jump off the raft during the loading... Some spooky shit happens. It just kind of looks like your connection is lost. What, what does that even mean? Would you like... Would you then wander like the fucking cyberspace? I didn't even get any ship log update for this. So the combination is not down there. Well then where the hell is it? So I guess I need to try that. I guess I need to like take the raft and then jump off during the loading. That's that's really spooky. Like because of that weird music, it makes me really worried about what's going to happen. For some reason, knowing I'm in a virtual world is kind of scarier. <laughs> it's kind of scarier being in a virtual reality than it is being in an actual dream of their planet. So, uh, so that explain it explains why they didn't go back. They couldn't go back. They bet everything on this one thing. They bet everything on the eye and they have nothing left. Nothing to return to. That's so horrible. Why did they do that? Okay, um... Oh shit. I mean, it doesn't really explain why there's there was this weird music here. I guess they were playing music. I guess I can't really judge their culture. <laughs> They're into weird creepy shit. Uh, what can you do? To each their own. Let's just keep exploring this area until we get flooded, which should be very soon, honestly. So here I was thinking I would find one combination per place, but looks like that's not going to be the case because... So it's not going to be as simple as each location holds a combination, but it will give us the answer to our questions about the reels at least so what if like what i'm understanding is that if you jump off during a loading your just your connection to the dream is lost but what does that mean for my mind is it just gonna kill me and then i the time loop restarts or is it gonna take me to like the the back alleys of the cyberspace. Wow, I really didn't think it was a virtual world. I honestly just thought it was like a collective dream. It's so clever because like you would never think to jump off the raft in the middle of the loading. You would never think to do that. At least I wouldn't. Man, that's that really scares me, but I guess I have to try it, huh? Wait, no. Extinguish. Ah, and we're too late. Quantum Moon right there, greeting me like an old friend. Hello, friend. Uh, knowing that Solomon is up there warms my heart. My girl. All right, did I get any ship logs from what I just saw? I did. Forbidden Archive. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its content has been destroyed. Damn. I found a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build a stranger. That's kind of what I expected, honestly. Because, like, what... What else could it possibly be? Like, why wouldn't they want us to see what happened? My guess was, like, well... I guess it's not what I expected. What I expected was they converted the planet into a ship, which I guess is kind of what happened. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. 
Oh man, that's giving me the spooky chills just thinking about it. But I guess we don't have a choice. Below the world. Ooh, it's gonna be like some weird cyberspace. Could any of them, like, could any of their minds be trapped in there? So I think we're all clear on the first area. We're gonna go straight to the second one then, which is the tower. So the well, the well area. All this said was, uh... He's going through the burnt house. Which I don't know how to do. He took the raft, but then he looked back and went through... I don't know where this is. I haven't seen this place. Unless I'm mistaken? There has to be a way to go inside that burnt house. This information about their planet is like a tragic reveal, but it's the least unexpected one, I would say. Like, it's not all that unexpected. Uh, but as far as the other reels, I really don't know what they're gonna be about. I'm really, 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 really curious to find out. Like, we saw them destroy a bunch of reels. And uh, one of my theories is that there were kind of two factions. We'll see if I was right about that or not. Wow. I guess something about this technology that they created makes it so their real body, like, are brought down to the bare minimum survival necessities. Like, they, they were able to, like, because their mind isn't the thing, and maybe they're like plugged into like some survival thing. I don't know, maybe something about this, these rooms and these seats or beds or this technology makes it so that they can survive like without eating, without drinking. But like for this long, for hundreds and thousands of years, that seems like impossible. I'm so nervous about jumping off below the world. What, what's the, like, what is that going to look like? Something tells me it's gonna be scary, but uh, I guess there's only one way to find out, lads. Uh. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I'm like in between all the areas. Oh, so it's like, a, it's just kind of a fast travel thing maybe? Okay, this is the lodge. I think it's just kind of a fast travel thing. All right? Wait, no. It's taking me to the reels room. What the hell? Uh, what's happening? What is happening? Is this the real? Okay, I think it's just the panels opening. This is the one I've already been in, right? I think so. Yeah, it's burned. Okay. So can I actually... Okay. So is it's like a... Kind of a secret passage kind of thing? Or is it just like a fast travel? Be like, oh, you can choose which way, which place you're going, like, instead of just waiting for the raft to reach them. Is that what it is? Uh, okay, I guess let me try going to, like, a different location. How weird. Man, dropping, dropping and seeing all the stuff around me gave me chills. This game is, like, chill central. <laughs> Every every new discovery and unexpected thing happening just gives me like these full body chills. Ooh. Would I land in a different place depending on which corridor 
I drop into? Or are they all the same? This is the underground lake. Oh, but this time I'm on the other side. I see, so that's how you reach this place. Oh, but I can make some stuff show up. Right? Oh! I extinguished one of the vault seals. So it's not about finding the combinations. It's just about coming here from three different places and then just blowing them out. So I could just do this three times and then I would open the vault. But I would still be missing like a bunch of information though, right? So the fucking combinations was a red herring. You don't actually need the combinations. You don't actually need the combinations. That's so... Oh, man. Oh, and you need to be coming from this side too. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. <gasps> wow. Damn. Did not expect that. I could just be opening the vault right away though, right? Is that what that means? I don't even need to explore the other places. I mean, I, I'm still going to because I want to know like what else there is to find, but I guess you don't, you technically don't have to. The same way you don't have to explore everything in the base game before actually reaching the end. You just need to like figure out how. Huh. Man, this game keeps surprising me. <laughs> they are so clever. How do I reach this, though? Is it just as simple as going around? No, I can't reach it. Okay. So it's not that simple. Going here only gives me access to one of them, but then how do you reach all the other ones? Yeah. Shit. Okay, I'm about to get kicked out. Alright, that's fine. We'll just switch locations. Alright, so the other thing I'm wondering is like, if you drop in... If you drop underwater from a different one, is this gonna be the same place or not? It's probably gonna drop me the same place. Yes, it's the same place. All right, let's see where else we can go. There's two more places we haven't been. This place and this place. This is also a reels room. Can I, if I drop there though, I can't come back. All right, let's just, ah, oh, I just can't, okay. Or maybe I need to do it from like a different place. I, I'm gonna go around. Cause uh, I just thought I could walk on the water. But this water is special, you can't walk on that one for some reason. It's so weird. <laughs> you might not even be able to reach anything. It might just be there just for show. Just to be like, okay, you're in the back room, like you're in the back alley of this world. Because, okay, dropping there kills me. So what if I go around? This looks to be nothing. I don't like being here, man. It's really dark and creepy doesn't seem like it. There doesn't seem to be like a bridge or anything. I think it's just giving me a preview of like a place I'm gonna reach eventually. Okay, so I can't reach this place. I think it's just all the real rooms. Yeah, I can see reels up there. So this is one of the places we'll reach later. So this is all the reels rooms and then the place with the vault. And I think that's kind of all this is. Let's see. Let's see about this one. Okay, I think this one also doesn't lead anywhere. Shit. It scares me every time. Alright. 
So dropping there gives us access to one of the one of the vault locks that we can blow out. And I guess that's it. That's kind of all it gives us access to. So now I need to figure out the second area, the one with the well, which we haven't actually explored yet. Yeah, I think this is going to take more than one episode. <laughs> Definitely going to be at least two episodes. Anything new? It didn't add anything. Huh. You would think like dropping down below the world would be noteworthy for the logs, but I guess not. Every time I record my cat Beatrix just lounging there not a care in the world this place I haven't actually explored at all other than the footsteps on the second floor and then that's kind of it it also taught me that like turning off the lights caused the doors to disappear So that would allow me to go down there, down this well, because that's like our objective. So let's take a proper look around. This takes us to making the raft show up. There is an elevator here, but no way to bring it down. Uh, okay, so yeah, we know we can open the doors now. I could be going to the second floor. Wait, no, I could be going down there, actually. Yeah, this takes us down. But do I want to go down if I don't actually have... I know the Owl Boys are up on the second floor. Maybe they only come down once you've blown out all the lights. So you're meant to kind of familiarize yourself with the layout first. So let's do that. Uh, okay, what happens if I go down? I'll bite. I think this gives me access to the well. Yeah, it does. Uh, hmm. Oh, I think I know where this is. This is where... This is the place I saw in the real. Right? Right? Oh! Oh shit, there's an alarm here. Okay, but I can conceal so it doesn't see me. Oh, that's why I need to turn off the lights. Okay, so that's why I can't go down there, is because they have an alarm. But then, I just need to find a place that allows me to turn off the lights. I wish it lets you like play a couple notes on this thing. Wait, there's like two paths. Or does it just go around? Okay, no, it just goes in a circle. Never mind. Uh, okay. So that tells me I can access the well from here. Uh, what else is... Yes, yes, yes. I know you love spooky music. What's with this music? Seriously. Like, is this necessary? Yeah, there's someone up there too, as we know. All these lovely owl boys are up on the second floor and then I, I'm guessing they come down once you turn off the lights. Okay, I could warp to the other side or I can go down there. I want to go down there. 
I mean, there's a thing that says don't go there, but... Okay, okay, okay. The dam just broke, but we're safe here. Ugh. I mean, can I even jump that? Oh, I can. Oh. Are they gonna be walking around now? Are they... Uh... Oh! Okay, I need to go behind this. By concealing my light. Oh, this is the place I saw in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the place I saw. Okay. So... Rotate. What? So I could go to the burnt house from here. Right? Alright, let's do that. Oh yeah, and then if I look back... I'm gonna see the hand that's gonna allow me to turn off the lights. Okay, so what's here? What's this house? Why is it all destroyed? Oh! What does this mean? One of their skulls and then a flower grows out of their death? From the flower, new galaxies. Is this like a painting? Did someone paint this? Again, I don't know if this is the, the truth, but this is my theory. I get the feeling that there were two factions, one that kind of embraced the eye, and whoever painted this is one of these people. And what they figured was like, yes, we will die, but from our death would come new life. You know, this is kind of what this represents. And then there was another faction, a faction that said the one that was like seeing red and like that got angry and like that burned all the church. Another faction that thought, no, we can't just like all die. This is like the end of our, like, obviously, you know, you can't, it's not so easy to just accept your whole fucking your own people just dying so one faction was against reaching the eye because it would mean the end of their species and the end of the universe but then one faction was like this is the way it should be new life will come out of our death this is my theory what's this some kind of like telescope I think this is the this is the the thing that allowed that first allowed them to perceive the eye, right? Is the thing is the thing you see in the real. Um. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, and this is the house that has the eye symbol. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to come through the little hole here. Spot, like spot and a hand. I should be able to spot a hand through the hole. Yep, there it is. And from here, I'm gonna be able to turn off the lights, but then all the aliens are gonna be out and I'm gonna have to avoid them. Right? That's the, is that the idea? Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. So I need to plan out like the... Yeah, and see it's a circle. I'm gonna need to go to that hand there and then walk around all the way down to the elevator, down to the well. And all of this without being seen by them. But I know that they're gonna be all over this place. And I'm not gonna have any light to see. So uh, this is going to be difficult, but let's try it. And this is the sound of them, like, freaking out. 
See, you can see them coming down the elevator. Oh, one of them's going all the way to the bottom. Alright, now this is the hard part. Oh, fuck. Hi. This one saw me. Whichever side you go... I am not going up. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think I was able to avoid this one. I think I'm okay so far. One of them is around here. Can't see anything. Ah! Hit a wall. Okay, this is gonna take us down. Yes. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Oh, someone just took the elevator. Oh, one of them is over there. Shit, he saw me. But I think that's why they gave like two paths. It's so you can like, play a ring around the rosy. <laughs> I think, if I, I think if I'm fast enough, I can make it. Okay, okay. We're doing it, we're doing it! Uh, as long as none of them is down here, but I think one of them is. I saw one take an elevator down. Oh. And I don't know where he is. Somewhere down here. Oh, there he is. He's coming up this side. Just need to go around. Oh shit, there's more than one. There's more than one. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm just risking it. Oh shit, there's a hole here. Where am I? Shit, they saw me. To find a ladder back up. Ah, oh, but they're gonna be there. Am I just trapped down here? I think I'm just trapped. Fuck. I'm so close, the door is right there. Ah, fuck. Hello. Ah, shit. I hate that they don't leave their... Hello. Don't mind me. Ah, shit. I'm trapped. I'm trapped between two of them. I hate that they don't keep their light on. I need, like, the second one to come down here. Okay, there he is. Shit. They're gonna... They're gonna sandwich me. They're gonna sandwich me! No, 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 no. I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, even when they lunge for you, it's not over. You can still, like, make it if you're fast enough. How can I go on the other side? Oh, <gasps> there's a little bridge there. Okay, okay, I think I'm good now. I think I'm good now. I can hear the music of them following me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, shit. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm so stressed. I just hope there's none of them down there. Go, 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 go. Fuck you. I just, ah, I just hope the tower doesn't get filled with water when I'm right there. 
Yes, yes, spooky music, spooky music, I know. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and put... Because I don't know how much time I have left. So I'm gonna hurry up and put bolt bolts. Uh, this is gonna be burned. Yes, it is. Put the artifact. Okay, okay. Uh, where's the reels? Where's the reels? I need to grab the reels before the thing ends. How do I reach the reels, dude? I'm so close, like I actually made it here. What what am I missing? Oh, wait. Okay, here's here it is. Okay, 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 okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, the uh I one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Quick, 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 quick. I hope this pauses the world. So stressed out. It's a fucking miracle that I did this on the first attempt. So they got to the eye, scanned it, saw the danger of it, saw the end of the fucking universe. They were horrified. Then they got angry, and burned the house, uh, the church. But then. Okay, they built... Is this the vault? No, it's some kind of device. They shut out some kind of device. To what? Scan it? Control it? Oh, they stopped it from emitting. And then, okay, so yeah, they branded themselves the Guardian of the Eye. Oh, I think the Nomai did mention that, like, they lost the signal, right? At some point, they were like, we lost the signal, it's not there anymore. This is why. Wow, they had, like, insane technology. They were somehow able to build a device that stopped the fucking, like, origin of the universe from emitting a signal. I don't know how that's even possible. And then they hid in the system to protect it from... Because they didn't want anyone to ever find it. Okay, okay, okay. That's really good to know. Okay, so that's... I thought, like... I didn't know what that device was. I thought it was, like, their reactor or something. Okay, here we have something... Some more information about how the... Ah, oh shit. About how the... Artifact works with the brain. So yeah, that's what these beds are for. It keeps the brain alive, but like even if everything else dies. So they like the fire. So yeah, it creates some kind of like field. goes to sleep and it keep yeah yeah it keeps them alive but like just barely by just keeping their brain alive while they're sleeping and it allows them to just come here in this nice little oh this nice little projection of their planet that's not there anymore because they fucking destroyed it to come here that's so horrible let's take you to bed grandpa <laughs> Oh, I think that's literally what's happening here, is that they took their elders. They took their elders into the field. Oh! What's happening here? It... he died! They were like, okay, we tested it on like some young, nice, healthy specimens. Now let's take our elders there. But they couldn't take it. it. Just falls over. He's like, oh shit. Why didn't it work with them? It like killed their brainwave. Oh wow, he straight up just. His connection is lost. Oh, but that's how the. That's how the artifact turned on. 
So he did make it into the dream, but now he's trapped there. Okay. So their plan was to be able to go in the dream and out at will. But then some of them, I guess because of old age, it was like too much for their brain. So like it just cut the connection and now they're trapped in the dream. Wow, that's so fucked up. Holy shit, that's so interesting. We're getting all these reveals. It's, it's like so exciting. It's like all the stuff I've been looking for this whole time. And we have one more. Uh, I think, oh. I think I've seen this one. It's just they, they want to make sure you, you've seen this one. It's how to get in the back door. It's how to get behind the dream. Oh, wait, no. This is a different one. Sleeping. So it shows one of them is dead. They're kind of dead, but they're still... Their brain, like, to some small degree, is still in the dream. So, like, the body is just barely alive. And then a healthy... A healthy specimen. <laughs> they build this thing that, like, dong, sounds the bell. Sends the signal to the brain. Which then turns off the thing. Yeah, it takes them out of the dream. So, this guy was able to wake up, but not this one, because he's just... Just been there too long. He's a corpse at this point. The brain waves are, like... Disconnected. So, he's not able to wake up. And it just does nothing. They're, they're, just, they're just trapped in the dream forever. All the ones that we've seen, they're, they can't wake up. Huh. I mean, this is kind of... This is kind of what I thought was happening. Holy shit. Wow, okay. So, there's really no saving them. Like, all their bodies uh, are just dead. Oh, I don't get the ship log update because I'm not wearing my suit. It's not a HUD thing. It's an it's an in-universe message that we get. That's why I'm not getting it in the dream. It's just so weird that their body was somehow... I guess so, okay, it's because around these flames there's some kind of like field. Like a force field that keeps their bodies from... rotting, from disintegrating. Because like it's been hundreds and thousands of years, so like they would be skeletons by now. But the field is somehow keeping them like just barely alive just enough for their brain to be but that's clearly not what they it's not on purpose that's not what they wanted to do is it a side effect or just like an accident because it seems like they developed this technology while they were here this isn't something they knew how to do like it's some new thing the one thing i have left is the final one the lodge which i think is going to be the hardest one so, I'm gonna meditate. I feel very close to the end now, depending on how long the lodge takes. I kinda wanna just, just wanna keep going. I feel so bad for these guys. Literally, this isn't what they... This isn't what they wanted to do. Forbidden Archive. The whale at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates an alarm bell when it sees me. I found the remains of a burned out building on the outskirts of the village. Whoever that... It must be like one guy, it must be like one scientist, one prophet, kind of like saw this coming. He must be the one we saw first discover the eye through that kind of telescope thing. He must be like on the faction that wanted to accept it, I don't know. I don't know how to turn off the vault though. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. Found a slide read that shows the strangers and evidence analyzing the eye of the universe. Uh, yeah, I guess. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye's signal. Found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep. The second artifact lights after its bearer dies. So he re they really are dead. Like straight up dead. But 
then how can their consciousness be in the thing? I guess they're just like borderline dead. It's like 1% life remaining. On a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report, it shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. I mean, not one, pretty much all of them. Like, none of them can wake up because they're all dead now. Could there be still one of them still alive somewhere? Okay, so... They clearly had the technology to maintain the life of someone in this force field. So it would be possible for one of them to still be alive. In theory? If he was standing in that force field for... But then... Like, why did they all die? Like, why did some of them... Wait, I'm confused now. So it showed one of them enter the dream after falling asleep. And then the other one, like the old, like the elder, did enter the dream, but only upon dying? But why did they die? I thought the force field was meant to keep them alive. Maybe the force field is just like the proximity of the dream. Like you need to be close, you need to be within the field to doze off and go in the dream. Maybe it, does, it, maybe it has nothing to do with keeping them alive. But then why aren't they skeletons by now? That's why I don't understand. So I've been recording for like two hours, but a lot of that was just like going back and forth, which is stuff I'm gonna edit out. So uh, I will keep going because I feel very close to the end. If I can find the final area in the lodge, I might be able to... But this one feels the most difficult. And to reach that, I want to go through the breach. That's the fastest way to the canyon. Ooh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Uh, that's okay, I don't need my ship. See ya. Alright, well, that's about to explode. That's fine. I just need to find the breach again. Uh, yep, this is the one right here. Ooh. Ow, that's bad. I'm gonna need to heal. Look at that nice little shortcut to this place. So clever. Yeah, this lodge is gonna be difficult because... I mean, it sucks because these guys, they don't keep their light on. Like, they, they don't make any sound, they don't make any light. Like, their eyes don't glow until you've shown a light on them. It's really hard to avoid them because of that. Especially in that lodge because, like, they're very small corridors. I was kind of lucky in the, that last one because there were, like, all these different paths. So I was able to just, like, Ugh! just barely, like, avoid them. Uh, wait, I need an artifact. So yeah, I will be exploring the lodge with the lights on, and then hopefully that can help me navigate the place, but uh, it's gonna be difficult. I I don't want to use reduced frights. Like, people have told me what reduced fright is. is basically it makes them slower, and like, they can't lunge at you. Um... Uh, but I'm gonna try not to use that, if I can. All right, let's see. What I understand from you guys' comments is that I can explore the lodge as long as I keep the lights on. Is that it? If I keep the lights on, then they don't walk around? Is that the idea? So here I need to find like a, a mural. Okay, I don't think they're here. Okay, so going to the right takes me up stairs. See, that's the thing, you can explore it, but all these doors are closed, so. This door is also closed. So it's kind of a shortcut to go inside. So when you go inside, you really you're entering through here. Okay. If I go down... There's like a nice little living room in there. Okay, um... Oh, there's the mural right there. 
So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a way to get down there. Which of course I couldn't I can't just jump down. So basically you go down the stairs. This door is gonna be open. I think I can see the shadow of one of them in there. They're having a little movie night. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just like sitting in there watching a movie. I might be feeling a little too safe here. Like there might still be some of them walking around. <laughs> This place is huge. How am I gonna? How am I gonna navigate this? I love that you can see a shadow of one of them. Oh, he's, he is watching a movie. You can hear him turning the the reel. Ah, oh, just looking at a nice little movie of his home planet while he's on his home planet. Like, just go outside, dude. You can still see all this. Just by... Oh no, because they're limited to the virtual world. They don't have access to the whole planet, just the, whatever they've built. It really is a fucking Soma situation. Huh. If you've played Soma and you know what happens at the end, this is kind of what happened to them. I thought that you can see his little shadow, it's so cute. You know what I found interesting about these aliens? That's different from uh, the Hartians and the Nomai? You can hear them. Like, you can hear the sound they make. I can understand the language, but you can hear their little, their little like, growls and sounds that they make. Which is really... It's really nice. And you must be hearing me, like, walking around being like, Who the hell is up there? Why can I hear someone walking upstairs? This might be the guy that caught me last time, I think. Okay, now I'm in that living room that I saw earlier. Oh. Oh, I created like a bridge. But will the bridge stay there? After I extinguish all the lights? Or is it gonna cause the bridge to disappear? Oh, I can use a hand. Okay. <laughs> I could use a hand. <laughs> oh, one of them is literally right there. Behind this door. Hello! I just want to talk. I just want to talk to you. If only. I'm gonna cut some of this because it's just me like walking around trying to understand the place. Alright, so what did this do? I just made a bridge show up. I don't really feel any closer to understanding the layout, honestly. Ah oh, man, it's right there. Alright, so from the entrance. From the entrance, you want to go left, down, right. Oh, I think maybe this bridge is the key. If this bridge, but no, it's not. It's not gonna be there anymore. Okay, so what I want. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to come in here, find your way to this to cause this bridge to show up. Because there's no way to reach this place without the bridge, right? That's the idea. It's straight to the bridge, and then after the bridge, left, all the way down to the thing. Alright, let's try it. It's gonna be a damn miracle if I can do this, but... I love that you can hear them owl like, like a wolf. 
Alright. It's a long trek that we need to do we need to do here. So left. down here. Thankfully this place is pretty large. Oh, there's one. Okay, so this is the room he was watching movies in. Ah, shit. Okay. This place is pretty large. I should be able to avoid him while he's looking for me. Stairs. Hope oh, there's none of them up there. There's probably gonna be. But it's a big room, that's why they made it a big room. So you can avoid them. Oh, yep, I knew one of you would be here. Oh, he saw me. He saw me on the left, so let's hope the he's going on the left right now. He is. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Turn on the thing. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Oh, but now the thing will be up, so maybe I can... If it stays the same, I, I think I can go there. Because now the light will be on, right? So that, that's the main thing I wanted. I wanted to make that bridge show up. Now that the bridge is there, I should be able to go on the other side, right? Okay, there's the bridge. Nervous. This is very stressful. Okay, okay. There's a mural. None of them is down here with me. Oh shit. Oh shit. One of them is behind me. Like, like the thing. Like the thing. I need a bridge here. Oh shit. I'm missing something. I'm missing a part of the puzzle. I need some bridge to show up here. Shit, he's gonna get me. Or no, I think I need to turn the lights off, actually. Fuck, fuck. Oh no, it's an invisible! Hello! I think it's an invisible bridge. I just need to go there. I was like, I forgot that they have invisible bridge. And you know, it makes perfect sense now that I know it's a virtual world. It's like, how could there be a, an invisible bridge? Because it's not real, it's virtual. So they can have whatever they want. <laughs> okay, I can do this. I can do this. All right. Okay, let's go down. Wait, where is the one that caught me? He might still be there. Okay, yeah, you can walk, you can just walk right through. And then elevator. Okay, so far so good. Let's hurry up. Go down there. I think we fucking did it. It wasn't that bad, actually. It wasn't too bad. Why do you guys have to have this music play down here? This should be like happy music, not shit your pants music. Uh, 
up. Okay, it's not so simple. There might be one of them down here. Wait, how can I reach it? Why is this place so big? I feel like one of them is down here. Thank you. Okay. Alright, alright. This is the third one, let's see. Alright, so they were looking at movies of their home world, feeling sad about it, thinking like, how could we destroy our beautiful world just to come here? It's that, uh... Have I seen this place? Okay, so it's them building the, the virtual world. Wow, they have amazing technology. <laughs> That's the part we were missing, it's them building the dream. So all this time we thought it was like a drill, it was like some shaman shit. Really, it wasn't. It was all just technology. They just used technology to build the dream, and then... Let's go in there. Fell asleep. Now they're in the dream world. Yeah. So, what else is there? How can I reach that? Good. Should give us some new information. Walking around in the dream world, in that drops the lantern. <gasps> oh my god, you can drop you can drop the artifact and walk outside the bubble. They're showing you all these like hack. They're like hacks you can do in their virtual world, but they're all things like as a player you would never do. Like, you would never drop your artifact, or you would never, like, jump in the water while loading. Oh, you become like a ghost. Creepy ghost? Oh no, I'm gonna have to do that, aren't I? To go outside... the world? Kind of like right now? Because right now I don't have my... my artifact isn't there. So that, what if I... that's why this place is big, isn't it? So that you can test that out, okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh... <laughs> Holy shit! I never expected this. And now you can see the path. <gasps> of course, it's all so obvious in retrospect. Wait. It's burned, but I can kind of see it's like burned. I can see like behind it almost. So it's only, it's kind of only rendering the world around them in a bubble. But meanwhile, the rest of it just looks like this. Holy shit! Okay, I, I was not expecting this. Like, can I interact with this? So if it's burned in the dream world, then... Like, what does that mean? insane but now I need to now I need to revisit like every area 
But then what 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 do they look like? Outside. They would only look like kind of floating ghosts. Holy shit. That's why there's this long tunnel. It's because they want you to do this. <laughs> there's a bridge! I wonder if they can... Can they see me? Can they see me? I don't think they can see me. Ah! <laughs> okay. <gasps> Whoa. He straight up murdered me. No blowing out the lantern. He saw some kind of weird ghost. He was like, I'm killing you. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so... Now that we know this, maybe we... This should tell us how to... There must be some other secret passages that will tell us how to... Reach the vault. I think we can reach the vault now. I think we're at the end. What's gonna be in the vault? Dude, this DLC is blowing my mind. Because, like, they hide this stuff right under your nose. It's stuff that, like, you could accidentally find it if you were to try weird shit, but, like, you would never try that. It's so clever in how simple it is. Mural of a large tree at the bottom floor. Uh, its contents have been destroyed. Found a slide reel that shows the strangers and evidence congregating around a strange green fire. Intact slides reveal the creation of a simulated reality modeled after their home moon. It is the moon of the planet, so it's not really a planet. Found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. Shows one of the strangers in evidence dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond the projection radius. Oh, so it's not that he didn't see me. It's that it was dark. So he didn't see me until I bumped into him. Because I was still there. So, because I had no lantern to blow out, he just killed me. <laughs> okay, well... Shit, now what? I guess... Let's go back in the where the vault is. And see... Try and see beyond the projection. There might be some, like, invisible bridges... To blow out the... Thing. Like, imagine just accidentally trying that. Just being like, oh, what if I drop my lantern? Again, I wonder if it happened to anyone. Because it's so counterintuitive. Like, why would you drop your one source of light? But it could have happened to someone. Even if it's like one out of a thousand. And then, like, the rest of the DLC would be a cakewalk for them. Because, like, they could see beyond the fucking... It turns you into Neo. <laughs> it turns you into the one. Like, you can see the code of the Matrix. That's so cool. You can see the trajectory of the raft. That's why it doesn't behave like a real raft. Because it's only a... You know? Makes so much sense. What's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, they're the candles. It explains why the artifact behaves in such weird ways. Like turning on the candles just at a glance. Like all this stuff that feels like magic. But none of it is magic. It's just... Programming. Oh, there's...
There's gotta be some secret bridges. There are, there are like secret platforms. Is there some secret to these other places? Secret bridges or... No, this is... This is the only place I need to visit. I just need to do it like from... I just need to... Go there from the other... I didn't even think to do that. So it's not a subterranean... I've been thinking about this all wrong. Like, I thought the subterranean lake was like one location. We were seeing all the archives and like there's nothing behind these... There's nothing behind these. Yeah. Okay, but then how do I go behind? Maybe they can't see me. Maybe they can't see me. That's it, the alarm system is not going to be able to see me if I'm beyond the projection. That's the trick. Oh no, they do still see me. Then how do you get behind them? Like is there still, do you still need some kind of code to turn them off? Here there's like platforms. Oh, the platforms just move this stuff. <laughs> it was never about the combination. Oh my God, you clever bastards. It was never about the combinations. I can't believe this. Okay, but then what about this? What about the last one? How can I turn off these alarms? It's gotta be something about like this lock. You gotta be able to do something that will turn them off. Or is it that like it doesn't matter? Even if they turn red. No, because they're still gonna wake me up. Oh wait. Maybe if I come in from another location? No, I think it just it, it would just ring no matter where I am. Okay, I don't quite know how to get that last one then. The one on the left, you just had to turn the thing to adjust the platforms. What about this one? Like I, it didn't seem like my turning the it didn't seem like turning the wheels was doing anything. It's probably something very obvious. How can I get behind them? Some sign, some kind of secret passage? Hmm. Shit, I think I'm about to get kicked out. So close. I'm so close. I can almost taste it. I got so lucky here for this one. I can't believe I did it on the first attempt. And the lodge too, like I got really lucky both times. Cause I, I thought it would be way harder than it was. I think I got pretty lucky. It's just this one last piece of the puzzle that I need to solve. Is it like one of the combinations that I already found? Like, does one of them turn off the alarm? Is there a way for me to like shut down the... 
Is there somewhere I can go where the bell won't wake me up? Is that the idea? You need to go... I need to be somewhere where the bell won't wake me up. Is that it? But there's a bell in every... Every area. Does one of the areas not have a bell? This place also has one. So it's not the bell, because they all have bells. No, these don't have flames. Shit, I'm at the end. I just need to figure out this last one. It's so bittersweet knowing that I'm like near the end, because like I don't think they're gonna do another DLC for this game. I get, I mean, maybe would be pretty surprising though. I don't think they can hide much more. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be another DLC, which means like this is the last little bit of Outer Wilds that I get. What an incredible game! Like they hide this here, right under your nose. This game is the equivalent of these images that are like, look here, okay, now look here, look here. Or like, they they kind of know what you're gonna do first and uh, what you're not gonna be doing. So like, they can hide these huge reveals behind really simple solutions because they kind of know what, what the player's first instinct is gonna be. Yeah, we still don't know what they found that caused this thing to explode. So they all they all have bells. There's no way to avoid the bells. There's gotta be. I mean, what we learned from the reel is that the ones that were sleeping Oh my god, I think I get it. The ones that were sleeping could be woken up, but not the ones that were dead. That's why... Oh my god, that's what it teaches you! If you die next to the flame, so it's not... That's the fucking solution. I have to die. And I can, because then I would just wake up next cycle, but it like... No one else could ever do this because of my very specific one chance in a trillion circumstances. I can do that. I can afford to just die to enter the dream. And then when it rings the bell, it's not gonna... F oh my god. I can't believe I figured it out. Like, I could have so easily not figured that out. That's because I was thinking like you need every piece of information that they give you to solve the final riddle. It's like you need to know that you can go beyond the that you can drop in between the areas to reach that place because that's how you blow out one of them. Then you need to know that you can go outside the projection to go to the one with the platforms. But I was like, what about the the other reel, what did the other reel teach us? I was like, well, it taught, it taught us about how they went in the dream even though they died. That's what you need to do. Holy crap. Because the then the bell's not gonna wake you up, even if the alarm bell. Oh my god. It's like the ultimate... You have to make the ultimate sacrifice, but then... I won't get to... That means I really won't get to interact with the stranger at all. Because in order to open the vault, I need to die. So like, this is it. I won't get to do anything else, because I'll be dead. I'll be stuck in the dream until the end. Holy shit. I thought... They were done blowing my mind, and they blew it once again. 
Holy shit. So like you see this place, you assume it's just like this whole, this huge area, you know? And that you, you're gonna be coming from behind the alarm system, that's how you get it. Like, you go like, oh, I'm probably gonna end up reaching these areas, but no, all these areas are the other archives. All right, so for the first one, you need to come out and then you can create the bridge. That's solution number one. And to do this, you need to know that you can go outside the projection. All right, so that's number one. Number two, Now I need to go in the vault. And I need to die. That's so crazy. I'll well, just hope my theory is correct. But yeah, if I'm dead, I won't get to open the vault in the real world. Only in the dream world. Unless I find some kind of information that allows me to open it in the real world as well. But again, it's like, why did they chronicle all this stuff? Did they want someone to find it? Was it just for their own like records? Other than for obvious exposition and gameplay purposes, like why would they have all these reels? All right, I have to actually commit suicide. flame can hurt you because that's like the only way you can die in here all right this is it let's hope this works Okay, well, I better not die now. But wait. Now I'm in here forever, right? Until I die? Alright, here we go. It's the final one. I had to die for this. Alright, go ahead, wake me up. Can't wake up. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. This is it. The vault can be opened, but we won't get to see what happens in the real world. Oh, it's a door. I have to go in there. Uh. Uh. Okay, just trust the process. The vault is a... Wait, the... so the vault in the dream is a passage, but what about the vault in the real world? Can I, like, use this? It just looks out to the planet. Okay. Hello, is anyone here? Can I? Oh, okay. Um, hello? Ah! 
Hi. Uh, hello, friend. Oh, you look a little friendly. They're missing an antler. Hi. You want you want to talk? And you are tall. Talk to the prisoner. But we can't talk. Oh, we won't be able to talk unless he has some kind of weird technology like Solomon, which I doubt. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You've just been sitting here? Oh, but like Solanum could talk to us in text. They're gonna be able to talk to us in images. By scanning his own mind, he's gonna show us He's gonna talk to us through a vision, okay. The final one, this is the final one we were missing. Show me. He's the one that got up. And left. He turned off the signal Thing so that we could still hear the signal. Why? Oh, but they found him. They were like, what the fuck did you do? They imprisoned him. So it was just one that was opposed. And then they concealed it again. But like in that brief moment, that's probably when the Nomai heard the signal. In that brief moment. I see. So you're the reason we... You want me to hold this? Yeah, I love how they have the two thumbs. <laughs> A vision torch. Now I can project. Ooh. Oh, I'm scanning my own mind. I'm gonna get. To, we're gonna get to communicate. I get to tell him everything that I know. Okay. Here you go. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't know you had to hold it. The little extra thing we're gonna get to tell him about our planet and I get to tell him how they all there's their station like went under ruin but that I got to find it somehow And that it reached a vessel because of him. The Nomai, it's because of him that they. So I, I was right, they've been here super long, longer than the Nomai. But then they got stuck in there, but still, because of their action, we were able to reach the eye. Where is this? Brittle Hollow, but then, yeah, it's showing us all that we know. The ghost Matter killed them all. Wow, he's gonna be like that's some an amazing story. And then so much later, I came here and found them and learned about the eye that way. Because we didn't get the signal from the eye, it's because of the Nomai that we did. 
Oh yeah, it's not me that found this, it's another Nomai. Is this me? It is. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. That's how I found you. What now? We're just both stuck in here. You want me to come with you? Here you go. Oh, wait. Wait, can I come with you? Uh, was I supposed to come with you? You're, just not, you're not just leaving me down here, are you? Hello? Was I supposed to get in there with you? Can you uh, come back down and get me? Where are you going? Let me come with you. This guy help. It's because of him that we were able to create a new universe. I'm so glad that he gets to know. He gets to know that's the case. Did you go out? Where are you? Wait, is that me? We ride into the sunset? Did he just... Oh yeah, you can see the little footprints. Did he just like walk in the water? So he's like, we need to put an end to this. So he could have just like killed himself this whole time? And he just didn't? He's just been waiting for thousands of years? Let's just... But we get to have another life, well... At least until the ending. <laughs> Wow, so it was someone. But there, there's still so much I don't understand. <gasps> like, why does this ship move on its own? I met one of the strangers in evidence who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that resulted in their eternal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. The prisoner left one final vision for me by the water's edge as a farewell. A vision of both of us, like, sailing into the sunset. 
Oh my god, that gave me like so many goosebumps. Because otherwise we're just stuck in there forever. So it wasn't really two faction news, it was just like one guy. But then, like what's in the real vault? It's just him? He would be like a corpse by now too, I guess. There's no way for us to open that vault. Well, there's like one last thing for us to do and it's going through the ending again. Will I get to be with him this time? I think that's what's gonna happen. Kind of just flabbergasted right now. <laughs> like I don't really know what to say. I'm just mind blown. Was my theory correct that like they kind of programmed the sh their ship to be pushed by the sun's expansion so that they could reach the eye? But then what went wrong? Why did they just all die? I thought maybe it would like explain it to us. I guess you're meant to guess based on the information you found. So I guess I guess they were just content just being in their dream world until the end. Is that the idea? Like they had renounced ever actually going to the eye? But then why do the panels open up right at the end? Why does the ship get pushed away from you? There is one last thing to do and it's it's taking the Ash Twin core into the stranger. Because then what happens if you wait until the end? So yeah, before going to the ending, I'm going to try bringing the warp core in the stranger. Let's see what happens. I really didn't give him all that much detail <laughs> in that vision that I showed him. It was really just like a very quick summary. Like we, we had eternity to spend together and just tell each other about stuff, so... Yep. Let's see if this shows anything different once we're, we... once we reach the end. I have to wait here for a while. So he, it looks like they had planned for the ship to get pushed. You can see the little arrow. They're like, once the sun reaches a certain point, it's gonna push us. But they must have known it would be s like super far in the future and that they would be dead by then. And they knew if they died in the dream, they couldn't be woken up. So what were they thinking? It's shifted to its blue form now. Alright, it's happening. It just changed to the actual explosion. I wish the things didn't hide my vision from the sun, but... Because the only other place that's safe from the explosion is the quantum moon, but if you bring this to the quantum moon, it just gives you the same fate as Solanum. So what happens if we have it here? Is it gonna give me a message like, oh, well, you died from lack of resources? probably what's gonna happen. I just want to confirm if that thing I saw it during the ending was the stranger. It had to be. I don't see what else it could be. Oh, there's the explosion. Okay, what now? What now? Are we far enough? Are we far away enough? The explosion just kind of disappears, like suddenly. Okay, well I'm here now. And there's nothing outside because all the stars are out. Aren't we like next to the eye right now? Shouldn't I be able to see the eye out the out through the window? Am I just stuck here forever? Oh.
Now beyond the reach of the supernova, you find yourself the only inhabitant of an abandoned world. Surely something here must be edible. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. End up joking around. Let's go for the real ending. Still not entirely sure what the deal is. I guess it's fine if they don't explain it. I kind of like that better, honestly. That they leave some stuff. Plus, I'm sure some people are going to explain everything to me in the comments like they always do. <laughs> I hope our new friend will actually be there and that I'm not doing this for nothing. <laughs> but I think he's got to be. Because they put Solonum in there. He's got to be, right? If Solonum gets to have kind of a happy ending, it's got to be possible for this guy. This is always the most nerve-wracking part. This will never not be nerve-wracking. Even though I'm not moving at all. But you never know. And here we go. Here we are again. I kind of want to wait to see what happens with the stranger. Because I know for sure I saw it last time, but then I kind of lost sight of it, so I don't know what happens to it after that. So uh, I am going to wait. God, the first time being here it felt so like I had so much fear and like. I was so nervous but excited but like I had this feeling of dread but also like wonder it was so wait it's already there how is it already here if the sun hasn't blown up wait is that the stranger that doesn't even look like it oh it's the it's the the signal inhibitor that they shot. It's not the stranger. It's the fucking device that makes it so you we can't detect the signal, isn't it? That's what it is. Oh, see, I thought because I had just seen a weird structure, so I just figured it was the stranger. But it's not. So then what? where does the stranger go when this star explodes? It just... Like, wanders out in the darkness forever? I guess. Alright, well... Only one thing left to do. Back here. Yeah, that must be what it is. Huh. You know, I never got an explanation for why do the skeletons in the vessel disappear when you warp? I don't know. The gravity here is so strong. Like more than twice. So if you weigh if you weigh like a hundred pounds, you'd weigh like two hundred pounds more than that. Two hundred and fifty pounds. That can't feel good. So I love the texture that they put for the ground here, because it looks very weird and alien, but not too weird to the point where like you can't imagine it would naturally occur. Like it's just weird enough where it's like you can still see it occurring naturally, it kind of looks like the patterns on an oil puddle, like a gas puddle, or like a Damascus steel. See you in the next universe.
Paradadam, 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 paradadam. Can you imagine how scary it would be if you saw something here, like a creature or something? So, what's it gonna say here now? Revealed the existence of an invisible ring world inhabited by a species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. The species traveled from a nearby star system in search of the eye of the universe, but horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye's signal so that no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision and was able to briefly release the eye signal back into space before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. Wow. And it's because of him, because of his sacrifice, that the universe will get to go on and keep on existing. Absurd. such a great moment you see the lights before you even see the trees though you hear the crickets also i was wrong in the previous video i said like oh it's weird that there's no insects or animals there are insects there's crickets you don't see them but you do hear them what would this place look like if someone else entered the eye. I feel like the eye kind of takes the shape of something familiar to whoever enters it. And to this Nomai, of course, it would be a forest. But to a Nomai, it would have been something very different. Something that looks like their home world, maybe? The owl... The owl people would have seen... Maybe their home world too? Like a river and trees? Alright, this is it. You hear music. I want to hear a new instrument. I want to hear a freaky violin. There he is. There are weird music. Kinda sounds like a theremin. Are you gonna scare me? Oh no, you get to see their the trees of their planet. The antlers. God, it's actually coming out of the ground like a zombie. I guess everyone is dead, so that makes sense. Oh, ooh. let's go! It's photos of my people and their people. All the people we know. And a Nomai, too. All these people who are gone now. Hello! And I'm gonna be gone, too. But it's okay. Oh, okay. I, you didn't have to do me like that. Would have been a lot nicer if you weren't all skeleton-like, but that's okay. There you are! My friend! Ah, oh, you don't have to sit so far from everyone, don't be shy. We're all very nice. Now we get to actually talk! When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, 
obfuscated then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Join us, let's see what happens. Your journey is over now. You did well. Of course I want you to join us. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Oh, interesting. Is the ending going to be different now? I love their design. It's so good. It's so cool. Very creative. Alright, let me just gather every... Oh! I trick on me. This fire, what a warm and beautiful light it makes. Go find the others. What comes next cannot be done alone. I want my girl Solanum. Oh man. I wonder if Solanum has anything to say about this guy being there. <laughs> be like, who's this guy? <laughs> I'm glad you remembered me. I would never fucking forget you. Can't believe they do this. It's so fucked up. <laughs> so uncool. It was worse in my playthrough because I flew here like at full speed, so I was really not ready for it. And I'll, I love this. I love the poem. Interesting, he, he fears that his... He believes that maybe his kind's fear will alter my vision? Yes. I saw... I didn't notice this when I first played until the very end, but... Like, they play music and then the smoke comes out and once all the smoke is there, that's when the thing shows up. I wonder how his instrument's gonna mesh with the others. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. Aww. It still works. Yeah, it kinda sounds like a thurman. Let's go. That's when it shows up. this. How beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. No, it's not. Yo, Solanum, check this out. Check out this guy. <laughs> Let's find out together. Uh, no time for one last marshmallow. See y'all in the next one.
still making me emotional even the second time around. <laughs> More than second, because I've watched my friend finish it, and I've watched like one or two Let's Plays of it. I wonder if that little scene in the future is going to be different now. Let's see. What an absolute masterpiece. <laughs> I hope he gets to bring a little part of himself and his people. Before. That's new. Oh. Interesting. Wow. So they did add like a little something. I'm just happy he got to bring like a little part of himself and his people and some semblance of it will survive. Wow. Well, this is it. Now we've really reached the end. I'm so sad <laughs> that I won't get any more Outer Wilds to play now. What a fantastic DLC. Really, really awesome. Like really adds enough to warrant its existence and its inclusion in the game. In fact, it kind of improves, like it builds on the original and adds to it. It gives you like that little bit more context for what happened. And now you get like a deeper appreciation for everything that happened leading up to the ending. Oh man, this is so bittersweet because I really enjoyed playing this game. I really enjoyed sharing it with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my playthrough of the DLC. I'm sorry I was so scared at the beginning. <laughs> but uh, it didn't turn out to be that scary in the end. Very rewarding, very cool. So many cool reveals and twists and like... <gasps> moments where like you realize something and like that, that great feeling that's there so many times in the original. I wonder if maybe they'll ever add anything else, or maybe they've moved on to making a new game. Like, I'd, I'm really interested to see what this studio is going to make in the future, because clearly they are absolute masters of their craft. But even if they don't, they created this little perfect gem of a game for us to enjoy. That's awesome. I am now a part of the cult part of the cult of the Outer Wilds players. I'm going to be recommending this to every person I know because uh, it is an absolute masterpiece and definitely up there as one of my favorite games of all time. There is one last little Outer Wilds thing that I would like to do and it's watch the no clip documentary that a lot of you have recommended to me in the comments. And I was thinking it could be fun to do like a reaction video to the documentary. So I think that's what I'm going to do next week. I will watch the documentary for the first time and I will film my reaction and then I'll post it. Same time, same place, next Friday. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can meet me then. If not, well, it's time to move on to a new game. I'm kind of dreading the massive viewership drop that I'm probably gonna have because <laughs> this game is over now, but I hope you guys stick around on the channel. I still have a lot of other games I want to play in the future. In fact, if you go on my channel right now, I'm gonna have a poll up. The poll is gonna be for what like short indie game I'm playing next, but after that I'm gonna be playing through season 2 of Walking Dead, and then there's lots of other games on my list, like I want to do Inscription, I want to do Detroit, I want to do Dead Store, Control, I'm going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom once that comes out in a few months. I'm incredibly thankful that you guys watched this playthrough and I hope you will stick around and watch my other stuff. So until then, a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this playthrough, engaging with it, leaving some comments, subscribing to the channel. It's been really fun and uh, I hope to see you guys again in the future. So. 
I had fun playing this, I hope you had fun watching it, and I hope you catch me in the next video for a new game. See you travelers.